Hello and welcome to a um, bit of an update really. Uh, <laughs> so uh, if you didn't know, uh, after leaving the Craft Beer Festival on Saturday night, I had two bloody amazing days down there. You know, my credit uh, to, you know, to everybody involved with that, from the musicians to the food people to the breweries and certainly to Left Line magazine, who are actually, who are actually team Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. They did an astounding job. It was an amazing beer festival. And uh, anyway, I left at quarter past 11 on the Saturday night. I've uh, been there since about 10 past 12, I think. Um, drunk a lot of water, you know. I, didn't, I wasn't absolutely wrecked out my face. I, I was not sober, obviously. But I was not wrecked out my face either. So I would say merry. Anyway, walking home, don't know why I walked, why I didn't catch a chuffing bus or get a taxi, I don't know, I've got plenty of money to do that. Um, should have just got a taxi. Um, I wouldn't have been looking like this now. But, walked home and uh, walked past the forest and uh, I can see it on Google. Google's amazing, you know, you know, on Google Maps, unless you've stopped it from doing it, it tells you where you've been. Which is both concerning in some ways that they're doing that even when you don't know. But uh, hey ho, you know, I'm not going to call him for it. Um, because it helped me timeline, put, put, put things together in the timeline. Within an hour and a half, uh, I'd, uh, I was walking for an hour and a half, so staggering probably. Uh, the, the air got to you, obviously, you know, you come out of anywhere, the air gets to you. And I stopped for half an hour. There was no movement. So... It looks like I was probably knocked out cold. There's no 100% confirmation of this because you've got to be there to know all this. But I did not move for an hour. And then I did move and I can see myself zigzagging up and down roads in a confused state. That tells me that I won, I was, I'd, I'd, I'd hit my head to the floor, gone up, walking, I didn't know where the blooming hell I was. Um, managed to see in Baseford, I was in Baseford. I mean, I live in Sherwood, which is two miles away from Baseford, um, not far away from Black Iris, funnily enough. Um, I was there and um, I recognised Sainsbury's and all of a sudden it must have clicked in that I, I was near home. And uh, I'd fell over another couple of times after that. I think the booze element did kick in at that moment. Anyway, um, wife took me, to the, took me to the hospital, was there yesterday, went there, back there today. Now I've got to wear this for six weeks, hands are fine there. But I pulled my ligament in my thumb, so my thumb. Where was that? You can't bend it more than that. That one, you can bend it all the way around. So, yeah, slightly worried. It's not broke it, but it's, it's certainly had a torn ligament. I'm not a doctor. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, I'm going to have to be very careful. They was going to put it in the plaster cast. The only problem with that is I've still got to work. You know, I've still got a bit of money in. Uh, statue sick pay is not what I need. So I've had to take, I've took two days holiday. Uh, just to recuperate so I can actually see again. Um, <clears throat> you know, so out for millionaires and people in in jobs where they can have as much sick as they like and get full pay. You know, if you're not in that sort of situation, you have to do what you have to do. You know, you've got to work, haven't you? You've got to toughen up. Um, I had a good shower. I had a bath, good bath last night. Wiped my face. And I woke up this morning with more bloody blood patches here on my nose. And that, I think it's coming out here a bit more now. The bruising is starting to come out. Bit of blood here. Um, bruises all the way around. And so, yeah, that's my update, really, today. I mean, I was in and out of the hospital so quick today. That was really good. Because, you know, when you've been there for nine hours yesterday, was it nine hours? Or was it ten? It might have been ten hours, actually. I, I was glad to be in and out quite fast today, fair play. I mean, I've got to go back and have my stitches took out in a week and then go back in four weeks to have this assessed. And uh, so I'll be wearing this at my wedding. <laughs> hey, would I have turned back the clock and said, you stupid twat? Yeah, of course. Um, there's, there's a scary lesson to be learned that, you know, when you drink too much and something does happen, you, I'd lost quite a bit of blood down the front of my t-shirt. So there was a, there's a moment, whether I touched on this yesterday, I'm not sure, but there was a moment where 
you know, I seen how much blood was down my t-shirt, down my legs, and my, my blood pressure was low. Uh, but they accounted for that because of the fact, you know, of that. Um, and you imagine if you perfuse, because apparently from up here it just pumps blood out. I don't know this. I'm not a doctor. And um, you can imagine, you can understand why people have accidents and get caught out and you know are unlucky shit happens doesn't it and that that has worked me up and uh, yeah there, there are uh you know there are realizations that you're not invincible you know you, you slight bit of growing up involved uh you're always learning you, you can be in your 80s and still ain't growing up at uh, certain things at least and uh yeah so but I'd like to thank also, you know, absolutely hand on heart, thank anybody from all the social medias, be it YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, of course, uh, for kind messages and support. There's been, I'll tell you what, uh, I mean, I'm not daft. It it probably was the booze that caused it, in, caused it but... It might not have all been the booze. There was a worry that someone reckons that said to me that says, have you been mugged? Or someone hit you because of the the injuries. And I can honestly say that I don't remember any confrontation or anything like that. The weird thing is, we was talking to the nurse today because my wife had been bit on the leg. And we were, so we had, I went in with her to the nurse. So I'm off work anyway. So I walked, walked up with her. And while I was there, there's a moment, there's a memory that's come back. Now, was I dreaming this? Because there's, you don't know sometimes dreaming. That I was somewhere and I was awoken and people were around me and I think I got up and walked away. And uh, did this really happen? I don't know. And, you know, it's that realisation. Did this happen? Did someone? Was I knocked out cold? Did someone wake me up? And it is it that that frightens the absolute bejesus out of me. Um, does it scary? Um, yeah, I really and on art, I've no idea. There's, there's I know when I was at the beer festival, and then I know all of a sudden I'm I'm on these roads. This what I do know. I don't the Google thing answers some of the questions because I can see where I was walking. I can see there was an half hour of time thing and uh, not knowing where I am. I mean, I was walking around Baseford and I didn't have a clue where the hell I was. Uh, I was walking around these streets and in an industrial area. Like I say, didn't know where the chuffing hell I was. And, uh, but today, you know, you know kindness. Kindness is something that in this world you can't put money on kindness. There's, um, if we do it to somebody else and you don't do it for anything other than just being nice. That's, that's how the world is. You know, you do random acts of kindness. Uh, in some ways, beer reviews, I try and do my beer reviews in that way. I try and be right, positive and all that. But today, team Nottingham Craft Beer Fest, my daughter uh, knew that I smashed my glass and also knew that I'd lost a T-shirt kindly given to me by Dungeon Brewing. So I'm absolutely flipping gutted. I've lost a T-shirt. I don't know why I've done with that, honestly. And on art. And then she tried, she's, she's, <laughs> I didn't know she was doing this, bless her. She contacted NC Nottingham Craft Beer Festival and asked them if they've got any spare glasses. He's broke his glasses, he's had an accident. And they've actually been to my house and bought me a little care package. And, do you know, that is as kind as you can get. Um, I'll open it on my knees. Because one, I don't want the glass to break. Um... Because they are amazing glasses. Going on a beer hunt. That's smart, isn't it? There we go. Lovely artwork. Uh, left line, gigantic. I think it. I think the artwork's done by a local art artist. Uh, but yeah, stunning. It was the yellow one last year, and before that, they're all dirty in the glass. So here was the one from the year before two years ago and the one from last year is around somewhere as well 
Um, I can't see it. Yeah, I can actually open this eye today, so there's a blessing. Mm. Yeah, so they've actually brought me to um, alcohol free beers round, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, Mashkan Savin Blanc. Um, I'll read it later when I've got full eyesight. And uh, another Mashkan one, so. Um, I think it says you on the front, or is that Chu? Chug, Chug. <laughs> Our man Dave, Mr. Craft Beer Basic, he know about that, chugging. <laughs> Bless him. Um, but yeah, and then they brought me some postcards around. So these, and this is quite special for me because, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for people who are good and sucker for nice things. And pubs on air, these are all that, like, they do postcards of pubs and uh, these are all going on in the Raggy Bear Festival and I've literally been to all these pubs that promote Nottingham and how cool is that? Um, I mean, I've Angel Microbrewery uh, near, near the um, oh, near the Ice Stadium abdication in Daybrook back in Micro Pub Barley Twist near the train station brilliant bar Barrel Drop, love the Barrel Drop Micro pub and it hurts yard. Um, beer heads by the train station again, brilliant pub. Black Irish tap room, don't you gotta love Black Irish? If you come to Notting, you've got to go to Black Irish, you know what I mean? Brew Gavin, top class shop, the, um, the only beer shop in Nottingham now, uh, actual beer shop, yeah. Um, top class bloke as well. Someone pinched this Steve Austin swines. Yeah. Brewdog Nottingham. To be fair to Brewdog, I've not been in there for a couple of years. So, yeah, I need to get the backside in today. Bunker Zoo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like uh, the craft beer places and cask of Nottingham. Bunker Zoo, stunning. Dulce di Lecky, Imperial Start. And they've got to be honest, it was absolutely banging. Canal House. The most unique bar, probably in Nottingham, and maybe in the country. You walk in, there's two barges as you walk in. Absolutely stunning. Uh, you've got a canal next to you as you sit in there. Bloody brilliant. Cock and Hoop. These guys in the lace market, they support local beers amazingly. If you're in Nottingham on a, on a Monday, like today, oh, it'd have been lovely to have a beer today. I'm not drinking, obviously. You know, there's no beer passing my lips for a while. Uh, I've got a multitude of beer reviews to put on the channel, but uh, it may be a day or two before the beers come back. We'll see how it goes, see how I feel. But yeah, absolutely love Cock and Hoop. I'd love all these places if I'm being genuine. The Embankment, oh, what a place. Near the uh, near the River Trent, another great, great Castle Rock Brewery Bar. Fox and Grapes, next door to Snenton Market. And again, brilliant pub to go into. The Hop Pole in Beeston. Bit of a Charmwood Brewery um, tap bar in some ways, but a good place to go. Hopology. Sadly, they've gone now. Was in West Bridgeford. Sadly, they've gone. Um, Junk Yard, again, in what you would class as the lace market area of Nottingham. Ockley Lace Market. I'm not sure where the boundaries are. But again, a stunning place to go to. Keen's Head. And again, Castle Rock's probably their best craft beer bar. At Blue Nose Beer Reviews would tell you that as well. Kilpin Beer Calf, another great place. Next door to the Junkyard, so you've got to do both. Junkyard's more craft. This is a bit more cask and foreign beers. Craft Works, near me in Sherwood. Take a cushion. Great beers, they've got craft. Ca they've got beers all the way around in craft beer fridges. They've got cask. Uh, fantastic selection of all sorts of beers but yeah maybe a cushion but a great place nonetheless Lincoln Poacher used to live at the back of Lincoln Poacher when it was called the Little Grey Nags Head uh, next door to the Arboretum um, yeah cracking place stunning place for whiskey don't drink too much though otherwise you'll end up like me 
Lion at Baseford, next door to Black Iris. Again, an amazing place to go. Isn't this great? It's, it's uh, talking about beer. <laughs> uh, Liquid Light, obviously. Will, you know, it's an amazing place in Snenton. Not overly far from the On Raptor Tap Room. Stunning place. Tom, done a great job there. Malt Cross, got to be honest, St. James Street. I've not been to Malt Cross in Donkeys. That's a pub I do actually need to revisit. Neon Raptor Brewing Company. Love this brewery. Love these guys. Love what they bring to Nottingham. They are so, 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 so important. More important than, you know, a lot realise. They are a magnet for Nottingham. Organ Grinder. The many organ grinder pubs. One at Kenning Circus. One at um, Newark. Uh, there's another one. Loughborough, is it? And Arnold for certain. Yeah, Blue Monkeys pubs, and hopefully another one at some stage. Poppy and Pint uh, in West Bridgeford. Don't think I've ever actually been in there, to be honest, you know. So, we'll carry on going. I've got a few more to go on. Sir John Belay's Warren, Canning Circus, going there this Saturday. Well, that's if the eye heals enough. Going out for my birthday. I know, five days' time looking like this. Uh yeah, I'm going to wear some glasses. Six power draft house. There are two of them. One at the side of the... Um, I've got two of the cards as well. One at the side of um, Vicky Centre and one in Hockley. Stratford Haven. West Bridgeford's Castle Rock Brewery Pub. Cracking pub and all. Tap and Growler in Eastwood. Lady who runs that is Belter. She's a lovely person. Great range of beer. An amazing pub in Eastwood. Totally tapped, what can I say? I love Totally Tapped. Uh, Charlie's doing a great job at taking over the bar there. Um, a good range of beer in there. It seems to be coming. The Beast and Bang the Elephant Tap House. Yes, I know, I know. The Vat and Fiddle. Obviously the tap bar for Castle Rock. Amazing, must visit place when you come out of the train station. Turn left into Beer Heads. A bit further down, Vat and Fiddle. Um, Ooh, not sure who that is. Barley Twist again. Cock and hoop. So there's a few here. Let me just, uh, oh, there's a few without any on. So, what I'll do, I'll just double check. Yeah, these ain't got the names on, so I, I won't go through them. But, um, yeah, that was massively thankful uh, to... Um, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival for that. Oops. That kindness. So I'm not 100% not at the moment, but yeah, absolutely thankful for that. Absolutely thankful to everyone who's checked in. And uh, a, a lesson to be learnt for me, and maybe a lesson for beer drinkers, you know, watch what you're doing. Make sure you've, you've got a phone with the ability for someone to know where you are. Maybe having a chaperone with you as well if you... If you're one of these that drinks and then, you know, may go too far. Yeah, shit happens, I know that. But, yeah. We've all got loved ones somewhere that want us home at the end of the night. And, uh, yeah, feel that. Cheers. Oops. <laughs>